Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome back to Intuitive Energies. Hmm. My name is Jane <clears throat> and I am very grateful to be with you here today. Um, it has been four days since my last sit down to record any videos for you. Um, I know you saw videos yesterday but for me it's been four days. I've taken a bit of time off uh, because we've been dealing with the wonderful thing that everybody's been dealing with for the last two weeks. Um, I finally fell ill to it and um, I needed some time to recuperate. So it's going to be a slower week for me but I have a wonderful job. My life's work is to be here with you and um, I'm okay with that. I feel um, I feel good doing it. So I'm okay. Don't worry about it. And for those of you who've been sending your thoughts and prayers, thank you so, so much. Um, please don't stop. I still have two people in the house who have not been diagnosed yet. So uh, I'm kind of hoping that it bypasses the younger generation in this family. And that we can just resume living. Whatever that may be. So I'm sorry if there's weird noises coming from my head because that's mostly where it stayed. Um, but um, we're going to take it one moment at a time. Okay, so enough of that and more of this. Look at this beautiful board. Uh, I did manage to take a bit of time in the last four days to create this beautiful tabletop and it is because it is my birthday week and I wanted purple butterflies and I got purple butterflies. So in case you have missed it, they are right here, the purple butterflies and the purple flowers and the purple nails. Yes, uh, we are purpling out for Pisces, the first Pisces week um, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic week. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm grateful for life Pisces any day that I'm here and doing um, what I'm supposed to um, or what I've chosen for myself actually because uh, that's something else that came through. I realized that I had uh, at this point um, um, just kind of general intentions to be here. There's a few things but uh, being an uplifter and having growth um, and having and going through the specific processes to achieve those things um, was decided by me and I love that and I think you have the same thing coming to you Pisces. You can decide what road you choose and where you go and remember that this is your choice okay whatever you do whatever you're going through everything is your choice. You can sit and think of poor me or you can sit and say Wow, it's another brand new day, and I've made it this far. Let's see what the world has to uh, offer. Um, <clears throat> I've been holding this cough drop. I'm going to, I'm going to now put it in my mouth, Pisces. So if you hear it, please just work with me. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the decks I'm going to be using is Light Seer's Tarot, the original Tarot, Sacred Destiny Oracle, and the Law of Attraction cards. Now these are in a link called Find a Deck. They are affiliate links that help this channel. All the cards are in alphabetical order, so if you need to look them up, that's how you're going to find them. While you are there, if you want to sign up to my website, which is where these are, it is free. It notifies you when I post, um, which I find is a lot more um, reliable than just waiting for notifications from here. Um, as well, I will send you a link to a video that I do not, that is not public here to everybody unless you are signed up to my website, which is basically my going through all 78 cards of the tarot and giving you my definition as such as I've learned them. And it's um, quick, you can quick kind of point, point form, which will give you a basic of the cards. To learn if you're interested to do readings for yourself or anybody else Pisces okay all right so we have the three of swords here Pisces as the work we need to do for this week 
<clears throat> now the one thing that I noticed about all of that Pisces is that yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to deal with that cough drop. Okay, so we're just going to give it a go this way, okay? The one thing that I did notice about the Three of Swords and the week last week as I was looking at it, how we're going to deal with these things, is I noticed that we were going to be overcoming obstacles. We go from the Eight of Swords to the Knight of Swords and the Gentle Gardener into that, um, no, the Field of Dreams into the Gentle Gardener. Um, those cards were so linked together, they, they define a process that you're going to be going through this week, Pisces. You're going to be unblocking something. You're going to have a ha-ha moment somewhere this week. And things are going to open up for you. That's exactly what I felt when I did this reading. Um, and I wanted, I want to focus on that this week as we do these readings. So the Three of Swords for me, for the Tarot, when I do your readings, that's not necessarily general, like one-on-one uh, -on -one readings, but when I do the general readings here, it's about seeing the truth in the situation to help you move on. So something becomes clear, and in essence, I feel that it's closely related to the Ten of Swords. I feel like the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords, it may be the beginning. The Ten is a definite, I'm moving on and I've had it. <clears throat> the Three is like the Eureka moment, the, the finally realizing what the point is. By the time you're at the Ten, I feel that you've been stressing with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords, and you've known what the problem is, but you've, reluc you've been reluctant to move on. The three is more like, oh, I figured out what this is, okay? So, I am a magnet attracting onto myself. This is important because it says exactly, this is a mindset, again, okay? It says, without exception, what you give taught to, wanted or unwanted, you begin to invite into your experience. See yourself as a magnet attracting unto you the essence of whatever you are thinking and feeling. For example, if you feel poor, you cannot attract prosperity. It defies the law. So, right. This is about the difference between you feeling something negatively and feeling something positively. Between the difference between feeling lack and scarcity and abundance and joy of yearning for something more or realizing how abundant you are right now. So this is all applying to this, okay? I'm going to take a little bit of water, Pisces. Oh. <clears throat> it feels very good to be back doing this. And I am thoroughly grateful that I could take the time and rest without feeling um, restricted or scared. Or I just felt very taken care of. Um, my husband, who was also at home um, because he was uh, he was told to, you have to stay home when you catch this thing. Um, <laughs> there it is, action. It's so funny. That's, I, that's all I feel this week. We're going to get to that, but I'm going to finish what I was saying. I took it very good care of me. Um, he's a very good cook, so I got fed, and I had plenty of liquids and plenty of rest. So I'm very lucky, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you for being here again today. All right, so we have action. <clears throat> And I was talking about that this week because, like I said, I feel like we had the Eight of Swords, which is a block. A definite, like, oh, I, I'm not moving forward to the Knight of Swords where you're taken off. You're just, like, ready for action. Let's go. So this action card, I feel that this is you. 
You may not know yet, but something will spur you to action this week. Something will become crystal clear. So let's read what this has to say. Okay. Um, a shift is coming. The time is now. Don't hesitate. Face your fear. Do it anyway. When big change is on the horizon, it's time to take action. Of course, there are times to deliberate and carefully consider your next step. But not now. Now is the time to take immediate action. Look forward with a calm, steely gaze and then forge ahead with clarity, determination, power, and grace. Quicken your spirit by making decisions now. If, even if you're not 100% certain, right now it's better to make any choice than none at all. So they're really spurring you on to move. I'm feeling that Knight of Swords building up. So, like I said, it may not be apparent to you right at this moment, but something will incite you to move and something will definitely be, become clear as the week progresses. Okay? Alright, so. Let's see here, Pisces. Five of Cups. The King of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling. You see? This is, this is, it's the same story over and over again. There's indecision. There's you, you know, trying to make up your mind of do I look at what's gone wrong before, or do I take up with what's left? Do I just throw everything out and start over, or do I look back at the stuff that was there before and see if there's anything I can recuperate or fix? But at some point here, you have the King of Wands telling me that the you're going to take action. You're going to decide that I'm going to do something. I'm going to take the lead this week. I'm going to be decisive and courageous and just do it. And then you have the Queen of Wands and it's like Eureka. You have the King and the Queen, a perfect marriage of decision, passion, and fire. So something this week is going to become clear. And that's the work you're going to put out this week. You're going to be thinking about it, but not too much, okay? That's, these are big energies. This is a littler one. Like, this is the Five of Cups. It's a it's very important, still important, but it's still a feeling of unbalance. And I feel that in this card, you're just at the end of that. You're, you're done with this energy. I feel you're done with these energies. You're like, okay, I, I'm done. This could also herald, and I don't usually say this, but this could herald the end of a relationship for you. I do feel that with these two cards, especially side by side. I feel this could be like... You're seeing if there's anything left for you to fix, okay? Um, it could be romantic. I know a lot of people equate that to romance or a long-term relationship, but it could be friendship. It could be, it could be an acquaintance. It could be just, you know, a very bad relationship that you've had with somebody for such a long time. And you're finally going to come to the point where that energy no longer suits you. It's going to be such an awful match in your spirit body that you're going to think, this is, I can't, I just simply can't do it. I feel like I'm not moving forward. So once the decision is made with you, Pisces, it will be done quickly. And it will be, you will, what are they, they're showing me. You will, uh, yes, the band-aid, yes, yes. You will rip the band-aid off really quickly. And it'll be done, okay? Um, but it's a good thing. I mean, look at the light. Look at the happiness. 
look at where this person is going with this. Beautiful. So this is what you're going to work on. This is you. Uh, the top row I like to say is the energy you're going to work on whether you realize it or not. It's something that you're going to do regardless of whether you have it mapped out or not. Okay. We usually go day to day or week to week with ideas of what we want to bring forward. Now that just kind of sneak snuck in. So I'm going to leave it. Oh, and this, they're really, these cards are really like just popping out. They know where they want to be and what they want to be doing. So This next row of the energies, oh wow, <laughs> this next row of the energies that you should be focusing on as well, okay, what you're going to work on. I see a lot of abundance here, these last two cards. There's a lot of master energy too. Um, <clears throat> if I look at the Five of Cups and you go to the King of Swords right underneath it, I feel that instead of going through the approach, this is the last remnants of you trying to figure out is if emotionally you've given the situation your all. And I feel when the King of Swords, which has been coming up in our readings a lot, uh, but in this case for this reading, I feel that he's coming through, he's cutting right to the truth of the matter. He's linked to the three. He's cutting right to the truth of the matter. Um... And just deciding that, yeah, um, there's a, it's it's the truth. The word truth are both associated to these cards. It's about clear clarity, okay, and seeing the higher picture. So you're looking down, and you're looking through the heart, but in this card you're above that, okay. So that's when I feel that. It's going to become very clear for you. You're going to separate yourself emotionally from the situation. And you're going to decide that the action needs to be taken. And it's going to be a great big thing for you. Because when you start focusing less on whatever this is, Pisces, you're going to be, I don't know, tapping into a lot of power. Underneath the King of Wands is a lot of power. And it makes complete sense for me. This is a card of abundance, of go-getter, of, of accumulation, of going for a very masculine energy. Then you have the Ten of Cups, which is all about emotion and receiving receptivity. The Queen of Wands with the Ten of Cups, a very feminine energy. I feel that you're going to balance yourself out. It's almost, I feel like it's almost like you've received the last remnant or the last... the last piece of the puzzle, the key to the last door that you needed to open to move forward. And this is the energy that you're going to move in this week. You are going to be overcoming those obstacles and you're going to bloom within yourself. Okay? And like I said when I was doing this reading it says that something about the past is affecting your situation. Okay? But remember that the light behind you is shining the way ahead. The light behind you, in other words, your experiences, everything that you're going through, is shining the way ahead. So these experiences are helping you move forward. All right. So let's see here, Pisces. What the Spirit wants you to pay attention to with this. These are really good cards to have a lot of powerful energy. Two kings, a queen, and the two best tens in the deck. You can't go, you can't get better than that, okay? That's great energy to be focusing on this week, Pisces. Okay, so... You have the Ace of Wands. Okay, I'm going to spin these around because my deck is actually upside down in my hand. 
plus I heard them say this or those aren't upside down so <laughs> all right there we go I can't make this up okay but we're gonna talk about that they want you to pay attention to the spark what initially brought you here what made you get inspired to begin and what that was was to be more of who you are with the Page of Cups. More of who you were supposed to be. Overcoming this will bring you Zen, will bring you happiness, okay? Will put you back in your bubble of peace and contentment where you belong, Pisces. We are those people of the planet, okay? Regardless of what other people like to say about us, saying, oh, we don't like conflict and we avoid it and whatever. You can look at it that way, but we're also the people who look at the glasses half full, even when we've had empty glasses most of our lives. We can still appreciate when we have anything in the glass at all, okay? We appreciate we have a fact that we have a glass, even if it's empty. We can see the best in everything. It's not necessarily avoidance, and it's not necessarily not looking at reality. It's just seeing it in a different perspective. And that is the one thing that saves us and sometimes helps save the world around us when they get stuck in oppression and deception and hurt and all of that, okay? So that is definitely that. This Three of Swords is what you are not seeing. And something specific came through with this one. Um, what came through is that the hurt and pain that you're feeling in any kind of, like such as this card, how, how hard this three in, comes in the fact that there's people, spirit, such as I've had all week with me, that are here to help you in situations like this, okay? These threes are growth cards. Three, six, nine are power numbers. They come in to let you see something that you really needed to see to move on. They're huge stepping stones. They're big haha -ha moments for you to go forward with. And it's important to look at the three cups that have fallen here because they represent something important that you needed to see that has affected you in a way that is making it memorable so that A, you don't make this mistake again, or B, that um, you have to look at something more in depth, okay? Something that you have been missing. So, this reading is about this. This is the work that you're going to be doing for yourself this week, okay? But it's all really, really good. It's going from this mindset to this mindset. And the key to it is the abundance that you feel, the gratitude, everything that you've had so far that's coming in. You have to embrace it, okay? All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to take a little break, and I'm going to come back and do the extended for this one. It's going to be a slow week for me, but a wonderful one. Take care of yourself. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Please make sure to like this video. It helps this channel. And leave a comment. Take care of yourself.